Being fit to buy the shares in the commonage first gives us the right to fence it. Um, for for commonages where there's different shareholders, that's not always optional because if everyone isn't in agreement, it won't work. Um, for us, we were lucky enough to be able to buy out the shares and then we could fence the commonage. As it was before, um, we, as we were building sheep numbers, if we bought in sheep or anything and let them to the commonage, they could just go anywhere. There was no boundaries, they could go to, into any village, you may not see some of them again ever. Um, the other uh, big advantage for us was in winter time, we can feed a lot of yos now on that hill in the winter time. We tried feeding them before in, in, in the hill, before it was fenced, and gradually over a period of five or six weeks, if you were feeding a hundred yos on the commonage, by the time the six weeks would be up, you'd be feeding 300 and there's still to be only a hundred of them your own. It wouldn't be anybody's fault, it's just that they all start coming off the same commonage to where the area you're feeding, so it's not practical to feed them on it. Um, by having it fenced, it was, as, it was probably as good or better to us than having a sheep shed. We just, we could put a lot of sheep on it, a lot of dry lion and a good bit of shelter with the Drumlin Hills on it. And sheep seem to do very well in winter time, provided they're, they're, they're supplemented with a bit of feeding. The main enterprise on our farm is, is producing mules, mule yo lambs. That would be the biggest enterprise on the farm for, for selling onto lowland farms. These, of course, are bred down from the blackface yos. We breed our own Scottish blackface yos on the farm. They've, we, we started breeding them over to Lanark Rams going back 14 or 15 years ago. We found that when we mixed the breed of the Mayo and the Lanark, we got more hybrid vigour for a start in the sheep. It improved our mule yo lambs and feedback from the men in the lowland that's buying them is that the mules off these Lanark cross yos are producing better factory lambs. Going back, I suppose, 10 years ago, most of our, our mule weather lambs was great in ours. Now, I think this year, I think almost 50% of our mule weather lambs, because they're off Lanark cross yos, graded ewes. So if, if that's working with the weather lambs, the yo lambs would be great in the same when they're bred back to a terminal sire. They have to be producing better grade lambs. We probably couldn't do that unless we were breeding our own hardened joes. We, we look, when we're buying a hardened ram, we look for rams with shape on them. We know they'll breed it through into the hardened joe and she'll breed it through again into the blue, into the mule yo lamb. And therefore the men that are buying these yo lambs in the lowland, are, are, they come back year on year to buy the yo lambs off us again. I think flock health is very important. Um, no matter what amount of way you, you look after sheep, you bring sheep in from the hill and put them into grass, do what you want with them. If they're not healthy, if they're burdened with fluke or worms, or if they're deficient in some minerals, they're, you will get a certain amount to thrive, but nothing like you will if they're healthy. Um, minerals can be a big problem in, in, in hill sheep. Um, they're coming off, a lot of them coming off poorish enough land. Um, what we, we bullet the O's every single year. We give them a one yearly bullet. Some lads don't like it, some lads do. We find from a labour point of view, it is very, very efficient and good for us. It's just a once a year job and we actually find that them once a year bullets are doing the job very well for us.